Initially in the apartment hunting process, we were looking at a budget around $4,000 and that was a budget we set before COVID started. However, uh, since COVID started, a lot of the high-rise luxury buildings started giving out a lot of discounts. So there were so many options we could find with $4,000. Hi, welcome to my San Francisco apartment. I'm Rachel, I'm 28. I live in a one bedroom apartment with my husband in San Francisco, California. And we pay $3,850 per month for rent. I am a program manager at a major tech company and my husband is a scientist at a biotech company. So in the beginning of COVID, we were still living in a small studio apartment. And then when I had to work from home completely, very soon became not sustainable for a healthy work-life balance. So we decided to move into a one bedroom apartment at the end of the lease period last October. The one thing I love about this apartment is definitely the floor to ceiling window in front of me. It just gives a lot of sunlight coming in. Compared to my old apartment, I think the amount of sun that comes from the apartment affects my daily mood and my mental state. The amenities in this building is great. We have a gym that's put together by Equinox. We also have an indoor swimming pool. There is an outdoor patio with barbecue grill. There's also a lounge upstairs where you can see an even better view of the Bay Bridge and the water with an indoor theater room as well. This is, there are rooftop couches here that you can check out. There is a fireplace here. We've definitely ordered takeouts and just had some friends over for a Saturday night. Kind of like a rooftop bar, right? It took us about a month and a half to look at different apartments. And in total, I think we toured more than 15 apartments. It was a very rigorous process because we just toured apartment after apartment. It was also in the middle of COVID. We toured a total of three different units in this building with this being the most expensive and the highest floor. And we had an opportunity to move, uh, I think like 20 floor lower with 600 less per month, but we decided to go with this one for the view. So for upfront costs, we paid first month's rent and last month's rent of $3,850 each, plus $1,000 for security deposit, uh, which totaled to be $8,700. I think to put out the upfront costs all in one go was definitely quite a burden for us as well. So we had to transfer out some of our money from savings uh, in order to pay that. So a lot of people in San Francisco actually don't know much about the East Cut. It is within the Rincon Hill area. It's also really close to financial district. We love this neighborhood because we get less foot traffic here, maybe sometimes more tourists. This neighborhood is surrounded by a lot of people with dogs as well. So I love walking my dog around here in the morning and getting a coffee. There's a lot of great coffee shops downstairs. So in general, it's just a great chill vibe. So our apartment is 740 square feet. It's definitely a bigger apartment that we've stayed in. When you first come into the apartment, you can see that we've set up this mass station where you can hang our mask and also right here with an inventory of face masks as well. And the signature piece of furniture is this couch that we got from West Elm, which took three months to arrive. <laughs> And now coming to this area is my desk. I spend majority of my day here working. I have my laptop set up and the screen that I get from my company. And it's also a standing desk as well. Now here is the major window of the apartment. So on this side, we can see a little bit of the San Francisco Bay Bridge that goes to Oakland. And then on the other side, we can see the city of the San Francisco, Portrayal Hill. In front of us is a few of the other apartment buildings that we decided not to go with. My husband always looks at these apartments thinking, why can't we live in a higher floor? I have a puppy at home and uh, this is a station that we've set up for him. It has a unicorn bed, which he sleeps there at night. Hi. 
And then this is his food and water bowl. And this is the accent wall of the apartment. We painted this in coral shade. In, I think my husband and I painted this in about a matter of two hours. Super fast. I wanted this shade because it reflects some really warm sunlight in the rest of the apartment. This is an old TV stand that we got when we first moved to San Francisco. And I decorated this by taping these marble strips to make it look a little bit edgier. Now, here's my kitchen. This island came with the apartment, so we wanted to get two stools that matches very well with the island. This is my fridge uh, in the kitchen. It is built inside this cabinet, so I think the size is a little bit too small, but also where we have all the hidden gems here. So coming over here, this is the dishwasher. It is very small, um, not really enough, but I guess this kitchen is not exactly built for uh, cooking because you can see the sink is really small for you to wash your vegetables and do dishes at the same time. So I think this kitchen was definitely built for someone that enjoys ordering takeout. Welcome to my bedroom. So the way I decorated this bedroom was I wanted to make sure it's super clean and super, I want to say sacred. <laughs> because uh, this is the bedroom between me and my husband. So now this is the futon that used to be our couch when we lived in a studio. My husband and I like to sit here at night enjoying the night view and reflecting on how fortunate we are to be able to live here and also doing some night reading, meditation as well. So this bedroom also has two closets, which I made into a his and her closet. This is a larger one, so this is my closet and I'm not gonna open it because it's probably really messy inside. And then this is David's closet, which I can probably open. He doesn't care, right? Yeah. <laughs> now let me show you our bathroom. This bathroom is very big for the size that we have and <laughs> there's a lot of mirror space here, which makes it so simple for me to get ready in the morning. And you can see there's a lot of storage space inside the mirror as well. And that's all my skincare product. <laughs> and we also have a shower bathtub. And because of how clean this apartment is, I actually have taken baths here. So after this lease period, we want to start owning our own property. So we're going to start the search process very soon. We're looking at properties in San Francisco or around the Bay Area as well. So we're definitely are going into the house hunting mode uh, with a mindset of, you know, trying to save as much as possible and had to make a few adjustments now that we're paying this rent and also trying to save for mortgage. For example, we are cutting down on travel a lot and all for the better reasons because, you know, I think with a puppy, it's really difficult to travel anyways. I definitely acknowledge that we're paying a lot for rent right now. However, the way that we saw it was this is probably the last like rental building that we'll be living in. So we wanted to splurge, if you can say, <laughs> to live in a nicer building and just enjoy ourselves until we have to be homeowners. <laughs>